Good morning, I'm Dan Shaughnessy alongside Pete Abraham with the Boston Globe. We are here for Boston Globe 10.0 today and today's question is shortstop. What's going on? We know about Avilas, we know about Punto. The kid is the kid everybody wants to see. Jose Iglesias, the Cuban infielder, magical hands, hasn't hit a lot, 22 years old. Pete Abraham, this kid ready for the big leagues? Not yet. I, I don't think it would be a wise move to have him start the year with the team. I think he should hit a little bit in the minor leagues. But I tell you what, I think if he hit for about three weeks, I'd bring him up then. I, I'd, I'd wait until he got his feet under him a little bit. And then when he was hot, I'd bring him up because I think this kid could play gold glove, glow glove defense for the Sox. He's not going to probably hit a whole lot, but you hit him ninth and you take this defense. Ben Sherrington really values defense. A guy who was a pitcher in college, I think the Red Sox could really use him on the left side of the infield. I think we all know defensively he's ready. There's, there's enough evidence from people who know baseball, who have seen him, and you watch him. He could play defense in the big leagues right now. I guess the concern is... Does a guy come up and just get broken offensively too early in his career and, and kind of get down on himself as a hitter? Do they worry about that with him? I think they do. He's only 22 years old. He's not really a, remotely a finished product offensively. Last winter, he hung around with Alex Rodriguez, and then he came to camp and he was trying to hit like Alex Rodriguez, even though he probably weighs about 75 pounds less. This year, he stopped working out with A-Rod, which is you know certainly a good move for any member of the Red Sox. Yep. He's doing his own thing now. He's trying to figure out what he is offensively. I think Bobby Valentine is going to be a very good influence on him. Eventually, the kid's going to figure out what he can do to help a team offensively. Once he does, he's going to be just fine, but he hasn't figured that out yet. A little sidebar on this kid, too. He's Cuban, spoke no English out of the gate. His English is darn good now, right? No, it's unbelievable. you got to give the guy a lot of credit. He really didn't want to speak to the media too much his first year in camp two years ago. Now he's walking up to you, you know, it's like, you know, you would never even know he was from Cuba when you talked to him. And what was the first thing he did when he was called up to the big leagues and he was in New York City with the Red Sox last year? I can't remember, what was that? He went to see the Lion King. Oh, that's right. He went to go see the Lion King, and he was <laughs> thrilled about it. Jose's a really good kid, I think. Once he gets up here, I think fans are really going to love this kid. He's, you know, when's the last time the Red Sox had an, an infielder where you went, wow, every time he did something? You know, it's been a long time, and I think it'll be pretty neat once he gets up here. There you have it. Lion King fan, Jose Iglesias. Dan Shaughnessy with Pete Abraham signing off from Fort Myers, Globe 10.0.